Even in the lowest temperatures, firefighters and other first responders have to work through the cold. We first told you yesterday about Boone County Fire Protection District responding to a house fire. ABC 17's Anthony Andre finds out how firefighters prepare to battle in the frigid weather. The confrontation between earth, wind and fire unfolded yesterday morning. Firefighters gloves, uniforms and equipment were left frozen. After an all day event of distinguishing the fire that burned down a home in South Cowan yesterday morning, firefighters were in good spirits despite working in the frigid weather. We're doing good. Um, so once our stuff gets frozen over, it's a lot warmer actually than, than when it's wet uh, because it does provide some windshield. Before the structural fire that happened, Assistant Chief Gail Blumenkamp spoke with ABC 17 about the importance of staying home as temperatures continue to drop. It's a huge risk if people are going to be outside, and so people really need to limit their outdoor exposure. Um, there's no need to be out there when it's this cold. To get a visual of how cold it is, I have this ramen that I'm going to let sit for 10 minutes. Okay, time is up. Let's see what this ramen is looking like. It is completely frozen. <laughs> Lumen Camp says in weather like this, you are more likely to be exposed to getting frostbite and hypothermia within minutes. It could be 10 minutes, it could be 20 minutes, it could be five. It just it really depends on what, what kind of clothing you're wearing and how prepared you are for it. But. Reporting in Columbia, Ethne Andre, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Ephany. The Boone County Fire Protection District also says to slow down when driving and inform at least one person about your whereabouts as black ice can develop in this cold weather.